I first came to Sheffield University in 1995. I know I look only about 12 years old, but I came here in 1995. I studied history for three years and then um, I did a postgraduate course in broadcast journalism. So in all, I uh, studied in Sheffield for four years, but I've, I've lived here for quite a bit of time in addition to that. In the back of my head, journalism had always been sort of rattling around. I, I wrote a letter to Des Lynham when I was 11 years old, essentially sort of saying, Des, how do I get your job? But I suppose that was a bit of a pipe dream, really. I'd always thought I was going to be a teacher. Teaching history and uh, teaching PE was like my dream. But I got turned down for being a teacher, uh, for being too immature, so I went into journalism instead. <laughs> I don't think I would be doing the job that I'm now doing had I not done that course. It gave me a real feel for uh, journalism as a career and it gave me the opportunity to go and have work experience at a number of different places and to get a feel for what that job might look like. And uh, it gave me a real passion for it as well um, through the lectures, through the work we were asked to do, you know, studying media law side of things as well. As soon as I'd started doing that course I thought this is what, you know, this is what I was built for, this is what I'd love to do for a, for a job and I've been fortunate enough to um, get away with it for quite some time now. Thank you very much for joining us on BBC Breakfast this morning. Having your eyes opened by going and seeing how different people live and different people act and different people do things, I think is, is part of why journalism is, is such a, a great career to be involved in and, and one of the reasons why I enjoy it so much. I spent Christmas in Afghanistan in the last year that Camp Bastion was there and I met some amazing people on that trip and that's the sort of thing while we were filming a documentary and making a radio programme. That's the sort of thing that stays with you forever. The most important piece of advice I was ever given was pretty simple really, just work hard. Um, I don't know anybody who has been successful in the industry that I work in who hasn't put a shift in. And now whatever you want to go into, whatever line of work you're thinking, maybe I could do that. There are very few people who get anywhere without breaking a sweat. And I think if you're willing to put the hours in, if you're enthusiastic, if you are uh, hardworking but you look after other people at the same time and you have an eye for other people, I think you can have a, you know, really, in journalism, you can have a really great long career.